Hi folks, let's modify our post processor so that at the end of a program we have our machine table move to a specific position that we want. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. So what I want at the end of every program is for it to recall G54 as a work offset and then to move to Z of 2.75 and then X10 Y3. Now we could do this with a manual pass through and we've done other videos on that. A simple pass through, a comma will add things to separate lines, G0, Z2.75, etc. Now this is great for when you want to just have this done on one program. And if we post this out, you'll see at the very end of our program, we've got the G54 and the G0Z and the G0XY. So great, sort of mission accomplished, except what if I don't want to have to do that in every single program, but rather I want this to happen in my post processor automatically every time. Well, G30 below was the first tip to how I figured this out. G30 actually moves the machine to the home position, which is actually a problem here because that's going to effectively wipe out our movements that we just made there. So just like we did in our video card here to modifying the post processor and starting to understand some of the manual NC commands and how they work. So let's go into post, open config, and then I'm immediately going to fork this off. File, save as, and I'm going to save it as tormach.cps in an offline folder that we're going to experiment with. I'm actually going to close it there and open it in Notepad++. Now I got lucky searching for G30. Normally that's not going to work because this post processor doesn't always use G30, but rather things like gformat.format30. .format so searching for G30 normally wouldn't work, except here I got lucky because the last instance of text 30 brought this up. So this tells me two things. First, it's within this function on close. And if you look at what else is in here, the last thing, the very last thing is write M format M30. So, well, M30 ends the program. That's usually the very last line of code. So I thought this might be the exact place I want to add this new code we're about to write. The other thing that tipped me off is interesting. If properties.use G30, so if that's active, it's going to write that G30. So I don't want that to happen. And sure enough, if we hop back into Fusion and we take a look at our Tormach post processor list of properties, we're starting to understand the relationship use G30 value no. That can override or set that to no, which will take that G30 line out. And sure enough, if we post it and look at the end, we've got our G54 and then an M30. So close, but let's delete that manual and see and let's modify this post processor. We're gonna go down to the very end and let's just see here. So we need to start with writing a G54. I want to call that G54 work offset for two reasons. One, I'm going to use it as I write my X, Y, Z location, but also it can be a really good idea to, if you're using multiple offsets, to make sure you always end uh, on G54 if, if that's the convention in your shop. So this line right here gives me a tip, write block M format dot format. So let's do that. And that's the great thing about using Notepad++ is as we start to type, it gives me autofills of the correct JavaScript code. So instead of M format, I'm going to type G, G format, dot format, and I should be able to just type parentheses 54, end paren there, end paren there, and then you've got to do a semicolon to end the line. Now, I love to comment my code, so I'm going to say JWS edit 2018. March 2nd. Okay, so that should give me a G54. That's relatively easy. So now let's do an actual feed move. We're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to copy this down, right block, gformat.format. .format. This time it'll be a zero. So that should give me a Z, uh, G0 move. But I also need to say, and I got lucky here too, I was looking around, I think, well, I don't think I can just type, you know, you just can't type Z, um, Z 2.75. It doesn't work, doesn't work that way. Um, so I was looking through, where do I program kind of a feed move. And I started scrolling up, looking for code and looking for sections. And sure enough, this caught my eye. Ooh, G plane mode, G17, G feed mode, 
gmotion x output dot format x and I took a whim and I got lucky this is this seems to work so I'm going to copy and paste this so instead I want it to be z output and I like the fact that that comes up as a formula and format instead of an x which is a variable let's type the 2.75 we'll close that right block and the paren and I'm going to include that same comment here. Now let's do two things. Let's test it, but before we test it, I want to add a, have a comment get passed through because I just want to be absolute certain that it's kind of processing my code. I forget how to write a comment, but if we search, output a comment, perfect. Function.writeComment.text. So let's see if we can just say write line format comment text. I think that should work that line right there. I'm actually going to put it between the G54 and my first Z axis move. So instead of text, which is the variable, I'm actually going to say um, JWS video demo comment, just something unique that I know is my own comment. Save. Post. We've got that post selected. We might get an error. If we do, we'll figure it out. Oh, no error. Control N jumps to the very end. Take a look. G54, my video comment that tells me that I've got continuity, that my code is going through there. And then sure enough, G0, Z2.75. Last thing I wanted to do. I'm starting to have fun here. I'm going to just say, move this comment up to this section. Edits. That way I don't have to put the comment on each line now. Right block, G format, G0, X. We wanted to go to X10. And I think I can leave on uh, the same line. I can say Y output dot format. Open paren. What I say? Three. So Y format, Y3. Comments good. And JWS edits. Save that. Post again. Oh, good. Okay, good. We got an error. Syntax error at line 1403. Okay. 10 out of 10 programming syntax errors are uh, fat fingering something. I bet you I didn't end the paren. Look at that. So that paren, the nice thing about Notepad++, that paren ended the format 3, but I got to add one more paren to end the right block. Save that. Error's gone. G, 0, X, 10, Y, 3. We're done. Folks, that is awesome. I'm getting super excited. I, I overheard at a, uh, I forget where I was, but something about how, a little bit controversial, but how you'd almost rather have somebody who's able to uh, edit post-processors versus run a manual bridge port and kind of that idea of what's forward-looking versus rearward-looking. And I'm not trying to get everybody upset, but I will tell you that it is very cool to start seeing and understanding the basics of how post-processors work, and I'm excited uh, to learn more and share that with you guys. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you next Friday.